Well, now that the cat's out of the bag over Sweet Baby Inc., everyone is looking at what's going on. We've already seen ties to those that worked for Gamergate of the past and where it is today. They're digging up old tweets, they're digging up old videos, old interviews, and it really is telling what we're dealing with in the gaming industry right now. And it's really unfortunate to see that this is what's propelled the changes that we've seen in the gaming industry, what's really created the downfall of a lot of games and shuttered a lot of studios. It's not all the reason why the layoffs happen. A lot of the layoffs have been happening because of the bloat that happened with a lot of the gaming industry during the pandemic. And now that is shrinking back down to a normal size after all the new hiring. But some of these games that we've seen come out is a result of that and a result of the consultations from Sweet Baby oh. Inc. This has been compiled. If you go to uh, Know Your Meme, this comes up as one of the uh, things under it now because Sweet Baby Inc. has become its own meme at this point. It's the propulsion of the video game industry that has just been what's rotten to the core of it. Felix at home or Lego Butts, this is the person that uh, was able to do a DDoS attack on uh, a charity event that went down um, and a lot of other things that happened in back in the days of the Gamergate days. And these are some of the stuff that's surfaced up here where they're saying things like pay me to shoot down your white male lead game ideas. That's absolutely inherent. Uh, who cares about the color of the person's skin? <clears throat> that that's where this is right now completely racist tones i usually get grossed out when straight white rich people kiss but even i think those two are pretty cute what well, I, this is this is just disgusting i just had a thought about trying this again with a photo of a young white person about to be ripped open and embedded Folks would immediately flag it as traumatic. I don't care who you are. That's disgusting. Why would you have, why are you thinking this way? This is absolutely inherent. I had a nightmare I was a white male gamer. Well, come on. If you know your heritage, then you know your heritage. And we all know where things were back in the day. I'm Canadian and you know, I'm a mix of a lot of different things. Uh, when it comes down to it and I don't see I don't use them I don't have a boon or anything against it you judge a book by its cover in this case it's absolutely disgusting now the CEO here Kim Belair um, this is also a quote that's been dug up we have to look at the story and narrative as one of the things that we can innovate on like when you bring someone in from a different culture, from a different background, from a different gender, they're going to create something that we haven't seen before. What are you talking about? There's a lot games get brought up all the time. You know, a lot of times when people talk about how there's not enough women uh, protagonists or women heroes in video games, you point back to Metroid, one of the, the one of the leading roles, leading women in video games because Samus was a girl. She did a very good job for the role and it was built around that and it was actually really good. There wasn't this, oh, we made this role for this particular person and now we're going to change it up and just say it's another person altogether. The way we look at demographics as we go. Okay, the majority of our player base is, let's say a white male so we're going to make stuff for white males. That's actually pretty disgusting. Considering when you go and look up, like I'm, I, I did a basic search for what, how many games are, and gamers are out there, what's the demographic, and the demographic really breaks it down more to where you're coming from for players by country. Now this is esports players, so you have most of your esports players coming from the US, and then you have China, and then Brazil, South Korea, France, Germany, Australia, Japan, Russia, UK. I don't even see Canada on this list. Canada tried breaking into the esports team and our esports scene. They're slowly getting there. We do have the Alberta esports uh, event that does happen here once, once every year, but 
we don't have a, a place even in here. We don't even show up in, we're, we're under a thousand players. We're, we're less than the UK, but we're also only 40 million Canadians to begin with. So that's not surprising that this is a low number for Canada uh, also. Gamers by region, Asia, Asia, Europe, Latin America, North America. You know, this is how many gamers there are per region. And this isn't just esports players. This is how many are out there at one time. And they're saying there's 3.32 billion active video gamers worldwide. Well, let's take a, take a look at this. There's what, 8 billion people on the planet. So one third of the planet is playing video games. So how can you sit there and say that it's only done for, for white males at this point? It's done for everyone. If, if you want to play the video games, they're out there. Well, and checking in on the uh, Sweet Baby Inc. detector, 102,000 followers of this now. Absolutely crazy how much this has exploded. This Streisand effect in full effect now. Uh, they tried to cancel them. They sat there and put on Twitter and did everything in their power to say, no, 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 these guys don't deserve a platform. They don't deserve to show us what is up there. Well, now they've exploded and everyone knows your name. That wasn't the CEO that did that. That was a narrative director. And these are the things that we mean where they're saying that if you're against them, suddenly you're a racist. Well, you guys are the ones putting the shoehorn in there. Obviously you, you have a thing against white people. Why, why would anyone in their right mind want to support this? It, 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 it's absolutely ridiculous. Sweet Baby Inc. is a narrative development and consultation studio based in Montreal and working around the globe. Our mission is to tell better, more empathetic stories while diversifying and enriching the video games industry. And of course, putting this person up on a peg and pay, taking this one down to replace whatever you want to replace there. It, it's absolutely ridiculous at this pace. Sweet Baby Inc. is only dedicated to the story part of the game. They don't work with gameplay. Well, of course not. They retell the story, but then the story still has to be told through gameplay. So my question for the anti-SBI people is why do you think SBI ruins games? Isn't gameplay the most important part of the game? That's the problem. Most of these games are a buggy mess on top of it. They're wasting a lot of these resources to do the shoehorning. And then because the resources are gone, games prices and their value and their, their, um, their budgets explode because this costs so much more for them to do. And you're wasting time doing this instead of just telling the story that you want to tell in the first place. You want to tell the story that you want to tell tell that story. I, I've asked, I've been told a lot of times here on YouTube by a lot of people, you know, do things certain ways, do this certain ways. But then I sit there and I go, no, this is my channel. I'm trying to relay what I see out there in, in the video game industry right now. But at the same time, I am going through my journey through this YouTube channel in that experience as well. And at the same time, I am telling my story through my, my YouTube videos, YouTube commentation, and everything like that. And if you don't want to listen to my story, I don't blame you for clicking off. I don't blame you for disliking. I move on. I get over it. <laughs> but a lot of people don't, and that's the problem. That is the major problem. The polarization of everything that has gone down in the last few years, especially with video games, movies, Hollywood, all these things have come to this part where we are now. The truth is you hate SBI only because it adds diverse characters, POCs, non-binary, etc. Anything else is a cheap excuse. So you just said everything else is a cheap excuse, but then you got to shoehorn in all these other characters. No. And then you put up your shield and say, oh, we, we are putting up the shield and we're putting in these characters and whatever you were initially wanted in the stories, that that's just an excuse for not putting them in there. No, that's not, that's not. It's 
you build the story around the characters you want to build. If you want to put these characters in there, seriously, if you want to put these characters that you guys talk in, that everyone talks about in this sense from SBI, then make the character, make their backstory and don't make them, give them flaws, give them boons, give them a reason to actually be there other than shoehorning them in and other than trying to make it just a sex scene or whatever you want to make it. That's the problem that I see with gaming today and one of the main reasons why there is a giant pushback against Sweet Baby Inc. Why this narrative design has absolutely fallen on its face and why the industry and the gamers are rising up right now and saying, forget it, we're done with this BS. Well, I digress. So hopefully in the future that we can see video games returning to form. This came up in, a, in my comment section. You know, you have a new hope or a new game that comes out there every time, a AAA game that's going to do something well. And then we find out it's the, the gamer gate strikes back and they're coming back down hard on the industry. And that part of it is just making it bad. So hopefully we can have the trilogy get completed here with the return of the gamer because without that it's not going to do anything great the gamer is what's going to drive the industry they're the consumer they're the customer I and mean, if you start building games for the actual gamers out there for the 3.32 billion gamers that are playing the game which is a third of the planet so you build it for everybody which you're not doing right now you're picking and choosing certain entities and holding up holding them up on a pillar higher than other people that's not where things are going to go down that's how things are just going to completely tear this industry apart so hopefully in the near future we will see something great again Anyway, I'm your Proud Canadian Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. I will see you next time. <laughs>